Hi, my name is Katie Hopper, and I'm a student at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. While in college, I've heard many of my friends talk about the stress and negative emotions that they've experienced. My friends are not the only ones. A recent survey found that 67% of college students feel tremendously stressed, and another 51% of students report feeling hopeless at some point in their college career. At times, I've also felt stressed and hopeless. However, hiking has become an outlet for me. If you've spent any time outside, you've probably experienced the calming effect of nature. But if you still aren't convinced, a study published in the Frontiers of Psychology Journal found that as little as 10 to 20 minutes of time spent sitting or walking in nature has a beneficial effect on college-aged adults' mental health. But an equal amount of time spent outdoors in urbanized settings does not have the same effect. Nature is clearly good for our health, so why doesn't everyone seek time in nature? What are the barriers that keep college students specifically from spending time outside? In order to find the answers to my questions, I decided to take new hikers out on a trail for the first time. Before recruiting people, I found a trail that would offer a challenge, while also being rewarding. The trail I decided on was Edwards Point on Signal Mountain. It's located about 20 minutes from UTC's campus. The hike is an out and back that totals right at four miles, so it's more than just a walk in the woods. The trail has a few noteworthy features. Near the start is a swinging bridge that crosses the water. The bridge is perfectly secure, however, the swing can definitely be intimidating. The trail is also full of rocky areas, which is an added obstacle, especially for first-time hikers. In the middle of the hike, you come to the main event, an overlook of the Tennessee River and the city of Chattanooga. This is Edwards Point. My friend Katie Beth accompanied me on a few hikes at Edwards Point, and she described the trail best. I really enjoy this trail. I feel like it has a mixture of good, like intermediate, kind of like hilly, but also very flat. It's like you have time to like kind of chill out and then it gets harder and then you can chill out some more. So I like that, the aspects of that. Once I had my trail selected, it was time to find some college students who had never hiked. Five female students volunteered to hike with me. Prior to our hike, I gave the students minimal information because I wanted them to experience the hike as authentically as possible. Of course, I suggested they bring water and snacks and dress for the weather, but other than that, I didn't give many details. This is Layton, our first hiker. She's a sophomore studying civil engineering. She'd been on long walks before, but she was a bit apprehensive about how that would translate to a hike. It's safe to say that she wasn't sure what to expect, considering her prior knowledge about hiking came only from the movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. She is an avid listener of the true crime podcast National Parks After Dark. So as you can imagine, part of the reason she'd never hiked before was fear. In her words, she considers herself to be decently in shape. However, the steep areas of this trail are challenging even for the most athletic. Here's her thoughts after a significant incline. Uh, yeah, it was a bit more than I thought it would be, but that's okay. <laughs> it was fun, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe she underestimated the trail a bit. After a few more inclines, we made it to a rest point. I'm feeling well exercised. <laughs> no, it's been, I think it's been a lot of fun. It's definitely a new experience because, you know, I was like, I felt maybe a little like dishonest coming to this. Like, I've never hiked before. Like, I walked around the battlefield. I'm like, oh, that's basically what a hike is. So this is, no, but this is fun. It's a new experience. This is a great view right here. Um, so I don't know. It's definitely been worth it. Like, this is gorgeous. And, I don't know. It's kind of sad that I've lived here for like 20 years and it's like my first time experiencing this, but I'm glad I did this. Hiking isn't always easy, but Layton felt how rewarding it can be to hike, and she hadn't even seen the overlook yet. As we approached the view, it was quite crowded, but that didn't take away from the beauty. Initial reaction, what do you think? It's really pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. 
<laughs> After resting, we spent some time taking in the view before heading back to the trailhead. On the way back, we had a few more inclines and some more ups and downs and rocks as we got back to where we started. And I wanted to hear Leighton's thoughts on which she thought was easier. It's easier going down them, but it's also more scary to fall because <laughs> they're definitely I'm definitely slipping a lot more going down. It's easier, but it's also I'm I'm like almost falling a lot. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Of course, to get back where we started, we would have to cross the swinging bridge again. And as an engineering major, Leighton had some strong emotions about the bridge. The bridge is my worst nightmare at the moment, at this very second. Because I know it's stable and I trust it, maybe. <laughs> but it's, still, it's just like, when you walk across it and it's like, your legs just like don't know what to do because it's like moving and floors aren't supposed to move. So yeah, but it's so exciting, yeah. After the bridge, we had a short walk to the end. Leighton was worn out by the time we finished, but she shared with me that she was grateful for the experience and hoped to hike again in the future. The second hiker is Audrey. She is a freshman studying chemical engineering. Growing up in Memphis, she didn't have access to any hiking trails. Once moving to Chattanooga, she wanted to try hiking, but wasn't sure how to do it and didn't want to go alone. She signed up for this hike because she was ready to try something new. At the beginning of the hike, Audrey said, if I fall, feel free to laugh. And as you can see, she did fall a few times. Audrey felt confident in her ability to hike. However, she made sure that I knew she was slightly below average when it came to being in shape. She wasn't a fan of the inclines. This is very steep, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> It's hard to determine how long a trail will take when you first begin hiking. And Audrey didn't plan enough time into her schedule, so we had to turn around early. She wasn't actually able to see Edward's point, but she was still able to see the beauty of the nature around her. Here's her thoughts about the trail at our halfway point. This is really fun. I should do this more often. <laughs> like, it was a little tedious. At, is tedious the right word? I don't know. But like, a little bit difficult at one point where like we were literally going like this way and there were a lot of rocks but I did it and I feel incredibly proud of myself and I'm just really happy right now. The view is prettier than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. So um, my, if my expectations have been surpassed. We turned around and headed back. We stopped to look at some of the rock formations when Audrey said something that could only come from someone who has never hiked before. It's like Minecraft in real life. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you take new hikers out for the first time. Well, we continued on a few more minutes until we neared the end of the hike. Audrey had some final feelings about the hike before having to head home. You just finished your first hike. Woo! How do you feel? Tired. Yeah? Yeah? Do you feel accomplished? I feel so proud of myself right now. Oh, yay! <laughs> Our third hiker after Audrey is Bree. She's a sociology major. She signed up for this hike because she was intrigued by the idea of hiking. Up to this point in time, she just wasn't interested in it. In her opinion, there weren't any barriers to hiking, just a lack of desire. She said that she had always assumed people got murdered in the woods, so she had understandably avoided hiking. Out of all the hikers, Bree rated her fitness the lowest. She described her fitness level as being very out of shape. How are you feeling? I'm scared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll make it back in one piece? Oh yeah, yeah. Even though Bree wasn't confident in her abilities, she did well creatively navigating the trail by holding onto branches here and there when needed. We were super lucky on this hike and had the overlook all to ourselves. As we sat and rested, I asked Bree what her thoughts were about the trail up to this point. Um, perpetually scared because of almost tripping and dying, but um, 
now, now, this is worth it. I feel like even if I am going to trip, this is worth it. During this hike, Brie faced two obstacles that other hikers had. She didn't wear clothes that were very suitable for hiking, and she was recovering from being sick. So a lot of our interactions looked like this. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brie was a trooper and handled her first hike very well. However, like everyone else, she wasn't a huge fan of the hills. You ready to climb the big hill? This is the big hill? Yeah. We climbed the last few rises to reach the end of our hike. When we finished, Bree shared her thoughts about the overall experience. I thought it was really nice. I don't have any words to describe it besides nice. I think it's safe to say that Bree enjoyed her first hike. She compared it to watching a movie and then wanting to change your whole personality. So basically, she's a hiker girly now. Grace is the fourth hiker to take on this adventure. She's an environmental science major with a concentration in policy and planning. Like Audrey, Grace grew up in the city and wasn't exposed to hiking. As an environmental science major, she wanted a reason to get outside more. For her, the main barriers had always been who to hike with, because hiking alone can be very nerve wracking. Grace said that she runs often and would describe her fitness as an 8 out of 10. She also mentioned that she has great breath control. Even with her fitness level, some of the hills got to her. Tired now. You feel it now? Yeah. Especially after that incline. I know. I'm sweating like crazy right now. But it's all good. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna drink some water. We continued up towards the overlook. Here's Grace's thoughts about the hike and how she thinks the second half will go. I caught my foot a couple times on the way up, and I don't know how it's gonna be, but I'm sure I would just get there carefully. Might not get there as quick, but we'll definitely get back. Like Bree, Grace didn't wear the right shoes for hiking, so she had to be extra careful. She talked about slipping on the trail a lot. I think it was a little bit tricky getting up the like mountain, and like I slipped a couple times, but it wasn't too bad. Out of all five hikers, Grace was the most creative when it came to avoiding slipping. I was actually really impressed with how well her scooting method worked. Grace is a pretty reflective person, so she had some thoughts about the end of the hike. I think it was very, I don't know, I just reflected a lot. So I saw a lot of nice things, it was very pretty, the view was nice. It was tricky at some parts, but I enjoyed it. I think. I underestimated my capabilities a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd get tired a lot more than I did. And I also thought like I wouldn't, well, I didn't have expectations like I said, but I didn't know that I would like enjoy it as much as I did. Like, I just thought, let me try something new. If I like it, I like it. But I ended up liking it, so that's good. Well, I hope everyone comes to enjoy hiking as much as Grace does now. Our fifth and final hiker is Alexis. She's a communications major in her junior year. She is also a collegiate athlete on the UTC women's golf team. As a college athlete, she considers herself to be in very good shape. But just like Grace, the hills got to her too. How you doing? Good. Heart rate's up a little bit, but right? <laughs> we're good. Do you like it so far? Yeah. Good. It's very peaceful. Yes. Alexis grew up spending time outside, but she never hiked before because she's always been too busy with golf. She was excited to take the time out of her busy schedule to walk somewhere besides the golf course. For our hike, we went early in the morning, so we had the entire overlook to ourselves. The leaves had already peaked, but the view was still breathtaking. After spending some time taking it all in, Alexis shared about how her mood had shifted as the hike progressed. I think I'm a little happier. Like I feel a little more uh, awake. <laughs> For I definitely feel more awake. Um, I 
on it, but also just kind of happy that I'm getting to experience it. Um, and it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. We started our journey back, but Alexis had to be extra careful going down the rocks. She was worried that she would injure herself, but she didn't. She navigated the rocks perfectly. Here's some of her thoughts from the trail. Feel good. I'm ready. Not like ready for it to be over in a bad way, but just like <laughs> to get to that point to say like I finished my first hike. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. We're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We had the whole trail to ourselves, so we got to take our time on the way back to the trailhead. After the hike, Alexis reflected on her plan to hike in the future. Um, even by myself, I could probably do it. I just had to find the right motivation to do it. Really, it's all it is. Well, here's to hoping that she finds motivation to hike again in the future, because it truly is a wonderful experience. Well, here I am. It's been an honor to lead each of these women in a hike for the very first time. In fact, this experience has taught me so much, and I was finally able to find the answers to the questions I asked in the beginning. It turns out that most people don't hike because they don't feel like they have anyone to go with. So I encourage you to find a friend and to get outside, because while hiking can feel intimidating, it really is just a walk in the woods. Well, I hope after watching this video, you find some time to spend in nature because the research shows it really does make us happier.